Hi everyone, welcome. I'm Bruce Schwartz. For those just arriving to the channel, what do I do? I do moon research. I research everything that's in the sky, everything I can with my capabilities, like many other channels are doing. Uh, right now, I'm finding a lot on the surface of the moon. This is some clear footage, some nice footage of the moon, obviously, with a CGXL 1400 HD telescope, various zooming techniques. Please enjoy, there's a lot more to come. Many of you question my techniques and ways. Well, let me tell you, uh, let me tell you, did, did you all know that NASA Apollo photos, to be able to see the smaller, smaller craters inside of the photos, they put the pictures under a microscope. Now, I said a lot right here by what I said. You guys can check the facts out yourselves. NASA looks at Apollo photos with microscopes to be able to see the smaller regions. With that said, how many craters do you all think exist on the entire moon? Impossible. That number, that test is impossible. The only way to know how many craters are on the surface of the moon we would have to completely microscope every single satellite photo that was taken of the moon, clear photo. And in each of the photo, see if, if NASA is using microscopes for Apollo photos, or I'm saying NASA, listen, maybe it's scientists that are, that are doing this, but it's with the Apollo photos. So whether NASA or scientists are looking at these photos with microscopes, why do you think they're doing that? because they want to see the smaller craters in the photos. They are there. They can also microscopically watch a slow playing foot piece of footage and see very close up and being able to adjust um, images of UFOs, live footage of UFOs, like I am trying to do. By decreasing the diameter of your focal length, you're going to get more craters. The exact number, yes, there's an equation. I'm not going to give it to you because I don't really believe in that equation. I do believe, though, and it's proof, um, by widening the diameter of your focal length, you will see less craters. Just look at a beautiful, clear view. But, yeah, cutting in, um, decreasing the diameter, the more you do, minus 2, minus 3, you will get a lot more craters, like hundreds, thousands of more craters. And then if you run that under a microscopic, um, literally a microscope over an image, yeah, you, you're gonna see um, every little detail that is on the surface that our eyes are not being able and will not ever be able with a naked eye to distinguish. A community member asked me um, why I deliberately uh, do not get the moon landing area. I hear you, brother. I feel you, brother. I want to get it as much as you do. But you know what? Um, it's a resolution problem. And listen, for us to be able to see the flag or the lander, which is about two meters wide, we'd have to um, resolve. How close would we have to be for the telescope to be able to resolve this? We'd have to be pretty damn close. So understand... Even the moon uh, landing area that I saw, yes, we could see the module. I, I know we could. Um, it would be a dot and a very small dot if we could see it. But I'm just, you know, being realistic. We're not going to see a flag waving on the moon. That's for sure. Not with a 14-inch scope. But this is still an incredible telescope. We're already finding massive structures. And don't worry, buildings are bigger than flags. They can be seen with a 14 inch telescope. We don't need bigger than that for now. So what's the difference between Hubble telescope getting the surface and me getting the surface? 250,000 miles. <laughs> you know, the thing is Hubble is further out. So they're gonna get the landing site. I maybe believe it, but it doesn't mean they landed or not. Whether they did or not, we're just talking facts. Yeah, probably could get the landing site. 
Um, but for me to get the landing site, um, there's an ad a disadvantage for me is that uh, distance that Hubble has. But still, if I'm getting photos um, the way I'm getting them and a clear view like this, I could only imagine how clear Hubble is getting the surface. I saw a very high resolution photo from NASA of Hubble, uh, ultraviolet filtered, of course, to get, uh, you know, through the rays. And I don't know, it, 
we're sitting there like we're sitting on the moon and uh, yes it was able to get the surface extremely clearly and i don't understand why they're doing this not showing us the freaking crater apollo 17 landing we could see three bumps and a flat surface why it's not flat I'm not understanding this. And if it is, well, somebody should reimburse us for the telescopes. There's a problem. There has to be some reason, reasoning somewhere. Scientists themselves say that the Van Allen belts would stop anyone from trying to get to the moon and would also screw the hell up out of any um, device that was, you know, like CVs and radios. So what's going on?